Nielsen, who has not played nor taken a shootout shot this year, is going to take one here for the Islanders. Well, he came up from Bridgeport, where in 41 games he had 12 goals. But it is a strange choice, although I'm sure the team's practiced this. Maybe this guy is the best at practice. In 2007, something happened in the NHL that had never been seen before. Here's Nielsen taking it. For the first time, a player from the country of Denmark took to the ice in the world's elite hockey league. That player was Franz Nilsson, who was making his debut for the New York Islanders. For the vast majority of hockey fans, this debut would have gone unnoticed. But this moment was the catalyst for one of the most incredible stories in modern sport. Before Nilsson, Denmark was a country that had never come close to producing an NHL player. That's because in hockey terms, Denmark is a third world country. A country with only 25 hockey ranks and with less registered hockey players than Toronto has referees. In the following years, a peculiar pattern began to emerge as more Danish players started to break through to the NHL. Regan, the young Dane, back of the net. Circle, shoots, he scores! Peter Regan does the 180! In 2009, two years after Nilsson's debut, Peter Regan appeared for the Ottawa Senators. He was followed by Niklas Jensen, debuting for Vancouver Canucks. Goaltender Freddy Anderson came next in 2013 for the Anaheim Ducks. And most recently, Oliver Bjorkstrand, playing his first NHL game in 2016 for the Columbus Blue Jackets. But what's even more amazing is that these five players didn't just come from Denmark. Unbelievably, they came from the same small town in Denmark. Welcome to Herning, a town of 50,000 people in the middle of nowhere in Western Denmark. But despite its size and location, Herning has defied the odds. Over the course of just nine years, the town produced five NHL players. In the same time period, Hockey Match Chicago, with 2.7 million people, produced three NHL players. And Detroit, the official hockey town of America, produced four. This is the lens through which we need to understand Herning's production of NHL players. Herning only had 350 registered players, and that even includes the veterans. Why we got five NHL players? That's a great question. It's unreal. It's like a miracle. My name is Rasmus Ankersen. I grew up here in Herning, and in 2012, I published a book called The Goldmine Effect, which looked at why certain regions and countries produce world-class athletes year upon year. For six months, I traveled the world to live and train in some of the most productive and impressive talent hotbeds without realizing that there was a gold mine of talent on my doorstep in Herning. So I returned home to tell this extraordinary story of how little Herning, over the course of nine years, against all logic, produced five NHL players. <laughs> 